What's going on YouTube? Phil here with BLP3 Motors. Today is an interesting day. Today we're reviewing a fire truck. I don't think I've, e I've seen another YouTuber review a fire truck before and the story kind of gets even better because a 21 year old guy owns this fire truck. Like he could have bought anything else but he bought a fire truck. So we're gonna meet my buddy Marshall and we're gonna do a whole walk around of the fire truck. We're gonna drive it and <laughs> we're gonna fire truck. Oh, by the way, guys, hey, make sure to check out the links in the description below. AutoAnything.com, you guys see the shirt. Uh, if you guys are wanting to pick up like brakes, car parts, or things like that, you guys get a 10% discount in my store when you use my code. So make sure to guys, make sure to do that. All right, guys, there it is, the fire truck and the fire marshal. Uh, see what I did there? Yeah. Marshall, say hi to everybody. What's up, YouTube? Say hi, YouTube. All the, all the people are digging your, your fire truck. How, yeah. old are you? How old are you again? 21. 21. Yeah. Out of all the life choices that you could make in life, you chose to buy a fire truck. And an ambulance. And an ambulance? And a military Hummer. A military Hummer? A few things. What about a, I don't know, some cool sports car like a Mitsubishi Eclipse or something? Might, might do that one day. I haven't decided. All right, dude. So tell me, tell me about this fire truck. So how did you? Ninety-one. How did you stumble? Dash. Okay, I gotta know where your brain was at. Like, when did you wake up in the morning and say, "Hey, I want to buy a fire truck today"? Well, I went on Facebook, saw it on uh, the marketplace, and I was like, "You know what? Let's see what's uh, what's up in the unique stuff." So I instead didn't... of instead of stumbling upon cat videos, you <laughs> you stumbled upon fire trucks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I uh, I was like, you know what? Let's uh, let's look up fire truck. Typed it in. Oh, okay, that was cool. A bit expensive. Okay, cool, cool. Fourteen hundred dollars. Bam. Went and picked it up that day. Really? Twenty-four thousand miles on this thing. It's a ninety-one Pierce Dash D Series two thousand. Wow. So it's a fire truck. Mm -hmm. Do you daily drive this? Can not you daily yet. drive this? I could if I wanted to, but not yet. Okay, so so I mean I'm assuming so people can buy fire trucks. I didn't know people yeah. could buy fire trucks. That's like a yeah, weird you can buy thing. anything. So I mean, it's so it's decommissioned, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, let's do a walk around. Let's show everybody yeah. this this fire truck. Let's just do all the ins and outs. Let's do an exterior walkthrough, and then we'll show them the inside, and then we'll take it for a spin. Yeah. So here, why don't you stand over here closer? There you go. All right. So uh, tell us about this. All this is where all the hose stuff goes. Yeah, the pumps and. All the pumps work. Drain pump, shafts, stuff like that. Your Dude. phone, educator. Um, I just, this is the first time I'm touching a fire truck. It's on camera. Two batteries. You got A and B on both sides of the engine. It's got a CAT 3208 engine in it. I don't know what that means. It's a CAT. Okay. Yeah. Kind of like in uh, dump trucks, bulldozers, that type of stuff. Okay. Let's open up all the compartments. What's what goes in there? This one has my inverter in it. Your what? It's a small one, so oh. I can uh, run AC and DC currents throughout the entire engine if I wanted to. Cool. Uh, so do you like? Do you empty. respond to fires? No, not anymore. I what, wait, to. what's this thing? That's a gas cap. Ah. Well, diesel. Diesel, huh? Yep, diesel fuel. Oil. This is where I'm putting currently uh, miscellaneous stuff. The siren. <laughs> That's the siren. Hook it up to the battery, and we will uh, play with it. Play with it. Nice. So I'll go ahead and carry this. Hey guys, make sure to dial nine one Marshall. He's gonna respond to all your fire problems. Yes. Oh, so here, here's the back. And it has a compartment as well. Compartment booty. Is that a compartment within a compartment? No. Is that inception compartment? Pretty much. It's a easier way to get to the 750 gallon tank. Instead of 700 horsepower, he's got 700 and 50 gallons. Gallon tank. Yep, water like crazy. Okay, so how does one navigate this thing? Do they just jump on the back and then jump up and climb? Pretty much. Uh, you'd have your hoses sitting up there. Okay. This one had an original red line, so. It's basically what you'd pull in the case of uh, vehicle fire or any type of magnesium in the uh, fire. So you'd pull that and it'd throw foam on it instead of water. I'm yeah. thinking this could be like a great pool party and you would just have this big fire hose and like just annihilate people with this huge fire hose and there's like a slip and slide and everyone's happy. 
Yeah. Is that what you imagined when you bought this? No, I just imagined, hey, I'm going to have a fire truck. And okay. no one else will. So another compartment here. Pretty big space. Lots of storage. So what, what went here? The ladder. The ladder went ladder, here? Ladder, pipe holes, and a few other things. Uh, another compartment without a DC converter. Interesting. So how long was this thing running for before it got decommissioned? I assume it went into service when it was made in 91 mm -hmm. and it ran to about 2016-2017. Okay. Um, another way to get to oh. pumps and other things. For Check this out guys. Gears and pumps and stuff. That's really cool actually. Let me just twist that. Push. What are those things? More things to run dis different discharges and stuff through the pumps. Do they do anything right now, or is it because no, there's no water? There's no water in it, so anything that happens to it. it well, that's so. I'm gonna push. Wait, I can't do anything. It won't do anything. It's not as cool anymore. Uh, does it do something? Yeah, it does. Uh oh. Come on, Marshall. You gotta really uh, mess with it. You gotta really uh, discharge it. Yeah. Okay. And then, you know. Whoa! We did a fireman thing. All right, you gotta take the camera. Okay. You'll have your quick eject seats, so you'll be able to get in and out of it pretty quick. Granted, it has a broken mirror or window, but it's doing pretty well for itself. Well, let's get a fat guy in here. Okay, hold on, get me in the seat. <laughs> fat guy in a fire truck. <laughs> All right. What's this stuff do? This is pretty much the controls. Can I touch this stuff? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, fire truck! Wait, what's that, that right there, that little switch is for the lights when the battery's actually on. Okay. And it will run all these so you can see them at night. The inverter. Are you filming that? Yeah. Dude, check this out. This thing's cool, it's like going to a casino. Hey, big money, big money! Oh wait, it's missing. Alright, I'm pushing all the buttons. <laughs> this thing's gonna explode. This thing's cool. But like I was saying. Sorry, I'm like a kid in a toy store. That's why I bought it. You know, every kid's biggest dream. Dude. Own their toys. This is cool. Light panel so you can flip your lights up here on at night. The Game inverter says. runs these scene lights. And they're bright as heck. There used to be a pump cannon here. So you could do a whole yeah. thing there. This thing got a flux capacitor? No. Man. Dude, I just want to... That's so freaking hard. That's what she said. Without yeah. water, it's definitely a challenge. Lube. I'm just twisting everything. Pressure. Doing that. Open, close. Strain. He's going to like put this full of water. And then it's going to look mess up because I pushed all the buttons. <laughs> this is cool. Oh, hey, this glass is broken. Yeah. It's broken, Marshall. Fix it. Well, I mean, I picked it up from a salvage yard. So. Salvage yard. This is really cool. Yeah, and that's actually a pretty good steal. Oh, here's another seat. Yep. That's really cool. So and that's the engine right there, and that's your air intake. You said air intake's right here? Yeah. This guy? Mm-hmm. This is the engine? Mm-hmm. Engine sits right here? Yeah. The car engine? The vehicle's engine, yes. Right here? Yeah. This is a Corvette. It's a mid-engine. It's a mid-engine! <laughs> so what's in the front? The front? Hold on. I'm gonna die. The front is pretty much your tire housing. No, the front of the damn thing. The front? There's no engine there? No, all electronics. This is the Corvette, dude. Let's see. So if you go and look underneath, you'll notice it's mostly just a bunch of mechanical parts, electronics, stuff like that. Granted, they took the lights off. Oh well, no big deal. Guys, this is a Corvette. This is a mid-engine fire truck. Are they all mid-engine? Most of them. I didn't know that. That's kind of weird. Something else. Okay. All right, Marshall, what are we doing? We're gonna play with the siren. Ah. So Same. doesn't the siren belong on the car? Yeah, but I haven't hooked it up yet. Can you hold this for me? Hold it here and here. Wait, you might want to step back. It's gonna be loud? Yeah, it's gonna be really loud. <laughs> that 
That's cute. It's like a little baby horn. It's like a baby horn. <laughs> That's cool though. And then the lights right here. And then what are we doing? Those lights. You stand behind the vehicle. Oh! He's doing some fancy stuff, guys. Oh yeah, disco party, disco, disco. You got dance. I can't floss. So All right, let's see the inside. The inside is pretty cool. Hey, there's no firemen here. Hey, is there a fire? Did someone call? That's a lot of space. It is a lot of space. And if you get on the other side over there, I'll show you how everything kind of works. Did someone call BLP for a fire? Cause I'm about to put it out, baby. How do you get in here? Fine. Not too fat to do this. It's not worth really the grab. That <laughs> handle right there. I missed the handle until you pointed it out. Whoa! All right. So this is the control panel. It pretty much has where all the lights would be. Rear warning are the only ones that actually work. And the inverter, of course, which will turn those scene lights on. Can you do it again? Inverter, uh, rear warning, okay. which are the ones that are on right now in the back. Okay. And I'll show you guys that later. Pretty simple to start up, minus one thing that you won't get to see. What is that? Turn the switch, push the two starters, starts right up. Wow. This thing got a Hemi? It's got an air brake. <laughs> got AC, defrosting, okay. heating, all that great stuff. What's this? What's the red button? That's for the pumps. You can throttle the do pumps we, Do we push here. the red button? I mean, you can push it all you want and nothing's gonna happen. That's not a Men in Black reference at all. <laughs> um, it'll There's take another red low button. water. So, uh, easy to put in gear for the pump. You just flip this switch, pumps are running. Wow. What's this stuff here? That, you'll have to do both and twist them. Twist? Yep. And that is all the wiring. Is the flux capacitor in here? Sure. I'll we'll say it is. <laughs> oh, here, check it out. In case you guys were wondering how everything works, here's a, a top secret. What is this? That would be your uh, battery terminal. Is this a map? Pretty much. El Dorado? It's a map. Not the Eldorado? Fuse box, basically. Fuse box, that was the word I was looking for, but I couldn't remember. And on the other side is actually just a regular glove box. Are there gloves in here? No. Oh, dude. There's nothing in there. This is one piece I actually need to put back on, and it has my VIN number, but it goes right here. So, that's cool. I've just been sitting it right here out of the way. Well, I don't need to set up my GoPro. I can even just hold this. Yeah. And we can take this for a spin. Yeah. Let's do it. All right. I am inside the fire truck. Marshall's driving. This is kind of scary and cool all at the same time. Marshall, turn on the AC. I'm fat and I'm dying. Oh, there you go. It's blowing up my leg. Oh, it feels good. Well, I mean, it's got a giant AC box right by your leg, so... Let's go find a fire. <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> this is loud. <laughs> so, uh, what's the best part about owning a fire truck? Uh, it makes everyone happy. They'll turn their heads and they'll be like, you know, they'll wave. They like it. Are you single? Yep. Do you put that you own a fire truck in your, uh, in your social media? I just, uh, I just post a picture of it every now and then. And they're like, <laughs> do you own that? It's like, hey, my name's Marshall. I like long walks on the beach. I drive a fire truck. And, uh. Surprisingly, it does very well on diesel fuel. Oh, really? Yes. Unlike the Hummer. Yeah. This can get you from one side of the state See, to the other. Nuts. This is absolutely nuts, guys. I'm literally like having a blaster. I'm like a kid in a candy store. It's crazy. Fire truck. Fire 
fire truck. So everyone's like waving at us. They're like, hey, these guys are in a fire truck. I've got this camera out. Oh, that's nuts. Full send. You guys, it's like, this is like literally the view. This looks so cool. There's like so much dash. If you guys want to date Marshall, he is available. No need to visit his profile. I'll put his number in the description. Oh! <laughs> it's going so fast. And I don't have a seatbelt on. We're gonna die. Let's make sure the brakes work. Hey, do the brakes work? It's got air brakes. Oh my gosh. This is cool. You guys, only in Oklahoma are you gonna find two guys driving a fire truck on the back roads. Like literally only in Oklahoma. This is cool, man. This is very cool. And just for the record, today is like 100 degrees. It is hot as balulas. This is the family friendly channel. We do not, we do not cuss. This is just really cool. I'm like really pumped about this. We're like so close to the road, but like it feels like we're about to go off the road, but we're literally like the entire road. This thing is so big. Oh, by the way, we got Jamie back here. Jamie's kind of coming along for the ride with us, just hanging out. She's, she's here just in case we need to pull out the fire hose and the marshal needs the marshal. Like here's the, the view in the back. This is really cool. Here's Marshall's phone number. All right, Marshall. What's a fun fact? What is a fun fact? Fun fact: Insurance on this only costs $150 a month. Insurance is $150 a month on a fire truck. More fun facts. You need a CDL to drive it. You do need a CDL. I do not want you to tell everyone if you have a CDL or not, because we might get in trouble. Because I have a feeling. He doesn't have a CDL. All right, so what else, what else? Let's see. It was originally owned by the Flint Ridge Fire Department. Flint Ridge Fire Department, thank you for making this video possible today, almost 20 years later. Have you named the, the fire truck? Big Green. Big Green? I mean, Big Green? It's not red. It's true. That's big. That's what she said. Awesome. So, how long do you plan on owning this thing? I don't know. I'm actually considering selling it for something a little... A little cooler. bigger? <laughs> yeah. A little bigger? Maybe with six wheels. Six wheels? Yeah. Ah, All-wheel drive. It's so bouncy. I'm literally holding the camera. Oh, man. Maybe in another video you'll see that. Maybe, yeah, well, we, we, get, we definitely gotta do a video on that. This thing is nuts. All right, Harry, he's about to take a turn. Oh my God. Ah! These are legit back roads, dude. So, how much does it cost to fill this guy up? Hundred dollars. How big, uh, how big's that tank? 50 gallons. 50 gallons tank, guys. Hundred bucks to fill it up. It is the perfect daily driver. I'm telling you, nothing, it beats a Prius. It actually, it totally does beat a Prius. Yeah. I would drive this over a Prius. And it lasts about three weeks if you were just driving it around town. Wow. Um, so, three to four weeks. I definitely don't want to drive this. This thing is definitely too big for me. That's what she said. But, this is, it's been fun just right. I've never ridden in a, in a fire truck before. Oh, sharp turn. Now the fun begins, turning around. Imagine if this was a Mustang. All the people we could kill. I mean, I mean, what? How many crowds are around here? Hashtag oh. crowd killer. All right, now to turn it around and go in reverse. Wait, what? We're, you're turning this around? Oh, yeah. Uh, sorry for the bumpy, uh, 
bumpy video, guys. I'm literally holding this thing. Oh, there's no, uh, there's no mirror. I can't show it to you guys. We're backing this thing up. There's Jamie back there. Look at this man backing it up. Professional, no CDL. More or less. More or less. This thing's nuts. There, folks, that was a three point turn in, in a, a fire, fire truck. truck. First ever, you've seen it here. I think you were the only 21 year old on the planet that owns a fire truck. Like, guys, seriously, legit, I wonder how many lives this vehicle has saved that we're like literally sitting in. Like, so this was in service for like almost 20 years, and there were many brave men in the Flint, you know, fire department that you know risk their lives every day in this in this vehicle, helping so many people. And uh, it's kind of just really, really, really cool to sit and, and drive in a fire truck. I mean, it's it's pretty freaking fun. I'm not gonna lie. And this is just cool. It's a very cool experience. But I'm kind of just in a, I'm just a little humbled uh, and a little honored to be honest. You know, uh, to, to be in a vehicle that's used by just, you know, brave American men and women, you know. But uh, I would I would suggest, you know, if you're 21, if you're out there, you're trying to figure out what's my second, maybe third car, why not buy a fire truck? You know? Don't don't send these decommissioned babies to the to the salvage yard. You know, they, they could be a, a daily driver, they could be your weekend ice cream car. You know, eat some ice cream, you know, spray people with a huge powerful hose that could probably rip the skin off their bodies because of how strong the, uh, the pressure is. But on a serious note, guys, though, uh, big thanks to Marshall for just letting us ride, check out his freaking cool uh, fire truck. And thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you have any questions for Marshall or if you enjoyed this video, uh, please make sure to uh, leave a comment in the, in the comment section below. Uh, make sure to like this video, subscribe if you're new, and guys, definitely check out the links in the description below. Uh, a lot of good stuff there for you, uh, especially the autoanything.com. 10% uh, discount, guys. I mean, that's just free money given away to you guys, so make sure to use my code. BLP310, but I love you guys, and I don't know how loud I'm talking or loud, but it's so loud in here. Uh, but I love you guys, I appreciate you guys, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Oh.